the options on IBIT, they'll bring new and more participants to the space, like, likely enhancing liquidity, but not without downside as well. Like think about how they're gonna settle in kind, right? So that, that makes that complexity push out a lot of participants. I think in it, maybe not initially and they'll learn the hard way, but um, I know what maybe Chris and I would like to see in addition to what Andy just described is some sector taxonomy and, and indices or baskets based on various sectors across uh, the digital asset space. We have to construct them internally with kind of a best efforts, uh, but like for example, DPIN, which is decentralized physical infrastructure, there is roughly 200, 230 names that are, I wouldn't say investment grade, but reviewable that command your time to underwrite them. And that's one of the newest spaces, right? And then it, meme coins could be their own sector basket. And I think from the initial sort of large cap baskets and indices, that would be great to see uh, next. There's also restaking and there's protocols now like Babylon where you can actually post Bitcoin and get staking yields in a portfolio of, of altcoins that you select. Same with Eigenlayer, which just came out. The technology and traditional finance com combination, it's just pushing the envelope pretty much faster than anybody could assume. But there, there's all different rates and the different willingness to, to pay. And some of that can be a rate on automated market making, where effectively in DeFi, you can just push to a bot and it'll it'll swap back and forth. Uniswap is a they just went over $2 trillion in, in total liquidity in the last four years. It's an amazing accomplishment for a decentralized exchange. But to Chris's point, rates in an almost like an on-ramp and off-ramp are extraordinarily easy to construct and monetize right now.